When I was in med school, I learned that you can't treat the symptoms. You have to correctly identify the underlying cause and treat it. So the underlying cause for the demographic crisis is overregulation. Overregulation, not just with Act 250 and other land use regulations, but we see this in healthcare as well. We also see this as the problem that uh, we don't have affordable housing. So um, deregulation and expansive deregulatory uh, program is in order that would open up the economy that would create upwardly mobile jobs where young people, middle class families can save for retirement, can uh, afford to buy a house and raise their children. That would be the, the way to go. It's very important that we diversify our economy. Right now, it's very much uh, focused on tourism and the service sector, and we've seen what's happened with the COVID pandemic. We need to expand it to include manufacturing trades, specialized services, businesses of all sizes, because an economy that doesn't create anything cannot last. And we all know that firsthand in Vermont. So that would be very important and prioritizing the, the value of work, giving access to different forms of productive labor. That's very important as well to attract all kinds of young people and families to Vermont. A very important editorial that was written by the Caledonian Record, which gives a very instructive blueprint for how we can cut down on top heavy bureaucracies in the government um, across the various departments and agencies without affecting services. So some people might call this austerity. I disagree. We can cut down on uh, administrators who have six figure salaries um, that they really you know, doesn't, won't hurt Vermonters. So that's a great place to start, like the Department of Transportation, for example. Um, that's one aspect I would, I would go to that. To, I would also add the $1.42 billion all payer ACO model that is run by OneCare. There also, um, there is a lot and lot of uh, inefficiencies, inefficiencies, waste, we can really cut down on that. And finally, the nonprofit sector, which is also a billion dollar industry and acts as a shadow government. There's a lot of duplication of services because there's no oversight or accountability from the government. So these are, uh, there are a wide range of places where we can cut down on our really large bloated uh, bureaucracy without hurting Vermonters by cutting down any services. <laughs>